In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lady Queen of all saints, pray for us, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we're, on, we're on volume 20, uh, 928, 1926. And Jesus added, uh, my good daughter, Louisa. So here, here's this. Remember, I, when I read good daughter, I, I remember Jesus saying to um, the, um, the, the young man, he says, uh, only God is good. What, why are you calling me good? Basically, do you recognize, uh, Jesus was saying to this young boy, <coughs> <coughs> do you recognize that I am God, really? And here Jesus is saying good to Louisa. <coughs> Sorry. And it's not that Louisa is God, but how good she, how God, how good God is to her. So this is what he wants us to become aware of. What's this goodness that's in Louisa? What is this godness that's in Louisa? I'm not saying she's God, not she's not Jesus Christ, but um. Jesus says, it is my glory, it is, it is the triumph of my divine will that requires all of this. So here, this 36 volumes that Jesus gave to Louisa, that Louisa put down on paper, he says, it's the glory, it's the triumph of the divine will that requires all this uh, study, uh, all the study that we're going through, all this uh, these truths, these these lessons, these manifestations, these promises, these prophecies that Jesus has given to Louisa. My good daughter, Louisa, it is my glory. It is the triumph of my divine will that requires this whole uh, gift of gifts, this prodigy of prodigies has been breathed into you, Louisa. Uh, this is the thing that is so glorious that our God, that our God is showing us. It's a new and divine way of holiness that's coming. So he says, but the divine will wants, the divine will demands. Now here, here's God. God is saying, I want this. I demand that the first triumph that of, of the divine will is now found in a human. It's found in our lady. She's Theotokos, mother of God. It's found in Jesus, the son of God. But the triumph of the divine will, the glory of the divine will wants and demands its first triumph be over Louisa. This is for our benefit. A lot of people, I've heard so many people say, well, Louisa had to did, did her part. Now we're going to do our part. And it's like, do you have any idea what you're talking about? Have you read the volumes? Do you understand what Jesus has breathed into Louisa? What Jesus has breathed into Louisa is this new and divine way of holiness that the only human that had this before, not, not counting Jesus and Mary, the son of God, the mother of God, the only one that had this was Adam before the fall. Uh, so the glory, the triumph of the divine will requires that the, these 36 volumes that God breathed into Louisa that we're studying, uh, it demands his first triumph over Louisa. And then he says, aren't you happy? Now, this is something that is so great. Aren't you happy to, for you, Louisa, to be the victory? For you, Louisa, to be the triumph of the supreme will? Aren't you happy? But he's also saying it to us. Aren't we happy that God is introducing to us Louisa? Louisa, who is this Louisa Picaretta that Jesus has breathed this great gift of gifts, this prodigy of prodigy into? Who is she? So in volume 20, 10 to 1926, uh, Jesus says, Louisa, if you see me taciturn, it's not because of you, Louisa, because between me and you, Louisa, there is no need of words and each other. Just to see each other is to understand each other. Um, when, when you become close to a, a mother, a mother with a child, um, this, this intimacy, this closeness, uh, the, the mother can just look at the child and understand what the child needs without, without the child speaking. The child looks and, you know, moans or, or 
smiles or whatever. And the mother understands this. Jesus says, this, he says, is the same between me and you. There's no need for words to understand each other. We To see each other is to understand each other. I took care of my, my mother and, you know, for eight years before she, she died. And I could see when, which, when she needed something, she would just look at me and I'd say, oh, you want a glass of water? Because she, could, she couldn't talk at that time. Um, my, my siblings would come in and she'd, she'd say something, you know, without words, moaning. And uh, they would go, oh, isn't she cute? And it's like, no, no, she wants some water. And they could look at me like, what do you mean she wants some water? She's just, you know, they couldn't understand it because they weren't with her continuously. And that's what the, Jesus is with Louisa. He says, we understand each other. To see each other is to understand each other, Jesus says. He says, I, God, pour all of myself into you, Louisa, and you pour all into me. And in pouring myself, Jesus says, I, God, pour new graces into you, and you, Louisa, take them. Because what is necessary for you, who, and this, is, this is for our understanding, Louisa, you must be the primary cause in order to form the kingdom of the eternal fiat. Louisa, I pour new graces into you because why? This is necessary for you, Louisa, because you, Louisa, must be the primary cause in order to form the kingdom of the eternal fiat. Who is this Louisa Picaretta? So he says to Louisa, it's not necessary for those who have to live in it, but with you, Louisa, it's not only to about living in the divine will, but about forming the divine will. Therefore, your Jesus must abound very much with you, Louisa. So here, Jesus is helping us understand that the, 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 the kingdom is being formed uh, by the true life of Jesus and Mary, the new Adam and the new Eve, in a newborn, a firstborn of the divine will, Louisa Picaretta. This is astonishing. You know, a, a lot of people say to me, well, if Thomas Aquinas would tell us about the divine will, I'll believe it. Or if, you know, if somebody told us about the divine I would believe it. Well, Jesus says to Louisa, I've saved the best for last. And I've dictated to you, Louisa, what, how this is going to happen, the why and the how the kingdom is going to be established. And I breathe it into you, Louisa, so that you will put it down on paper. So those who want to live in this gift can have as much as they want or as little as they want. They can have 30, 60 or a hundred fold. What do you want? Jesus says. So what he, what he says to us, and this, again, this is so, it, it, this is so necessary for us to understand. There's no need uh, for words to understand each other, Louisa. To see each other is to understand. Okay, so here, this, this intimacy with Jesus is, is like a, uh, a, a mother with a child, understanding. He says, I pour all of myself into you. And that's what, that's what mothers do. They live for their child. They, they nurture their child. They protect their child. They, they hold their child. They, 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 they love their child. I pour all of myself into you and you pour all of yourself into me. And Jesus says, in pouring myself into you, I pour new and abundant graces into you because it's necessary. Why? You, Louisa, must be the primary cause. Now he's saying this to her, for Louisa to understand her mission, but for also for us to go to Louisa, plead with Louisa, talk to Louisa. I've always said, when, when you have difficulties, read the the letters to of louisa read them they're, they're so powerful she whatever you're going through and you're at a loss read the letters of louisa she'll she'll put it in very simple perspective god loves you and god's going to take care of it and and the way she explains this is so great um he says for us to understand that she is the primary cause to form form the kingdom of the divine eternal fiat. And he says, it's not necessary for those who are good, only going to live in it, but it must be necessary for you because it's not only about living in it, Louisa, but forming the divine will. Therefore, your Jesus must abound very much with you, Louisa. This is not about being saintly good and holy. Um, a, a saint would have a virtue or two of Jesus and Mary. 
But this abounding very much with Louisa is uh, Jesus's, uh, the, 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 the new Adam and the new Eve are now breathing this life, uh, this, this, this new Adam and this new Eve, breathing this life into Louisa, abounding within her. Why? To give you, Louisa, the raw materials for f- the formation of a kingdom so holy. Everything is, that's found in Louisa is the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. This is why we love the book of heaven. You're not going to find it in Thomas Aquinas. You, you'll, you'll find Thomas Aquinas pointing to it. I mean, I think the main thing is he didn't finish the Summa because everything he says, God made him understand uh, that um, this, 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 this desire for um, the Summa to people have people understand what, what God is doing. He says it's mere straw compared to what God is going to do. It's almost as if like God gave him a, a, an insight to the divine will and he saw it and he looked at it and he goes, I'm not even close. I'm not even close. And that's what happens when we read the book of heaven. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's exciting. But we're not even close. Next, the next day you read it, and he expands your capacity. This is going to go on for all eternity. God is going to expand our capacity as much as we want for eternity, for all eternity. Um, and once we're in heaven, we want God. We're going to enter into this, this heaven of peace, joy, and happiness, this heaven of, of, of the, the true life of Jesus, the true life of Mary, the new Adam and the new Eve, more than what God gave to Adam. So again, the Lord is asking us to enter into this gift. He's proposing this to us. He's saying, I've got great plans and you're in them, but you have to go to the one who possesses this gift, the one I breathe this life into, and that's Louisa. Louisa has all the raw materials for the formation of a kingdom that's so holy. Heaven on earth, that's what God is going to give us. It's the fulfillment of the Our Father. So the whole thing that that we've been praying for 2,000 years, may your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven, is very close, very close. That's why even Our Lady of of Revelation said to Bruno uh, in 1947, time has now come to an end. This era of 6,000 years of the evil one ruling as prince of the earth is coming to an end. Jesus redeemed us 2,000 years ago. Now sanctification is coming. What does that mean? A whole new ballgame. Eye is not seen, ear, ear is not heard of what God is going to do for those who love him. It's a new beginning. And the Lord has given us the book of heaven. Read it, study it, put it into practice, begin to understand uh, in, in a way that uh, is just heaven, this, this book of heaven, and, and, and watch what God's going to do. So may the blood that flowed upon the wood of this cross free us from our human will that we live in God's holy divine will always, we ask this in Jesus's name, under the mantle of Mary, through the intercession of Louisa, and we pray that this prayer becomes God's command in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.